But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, I got the tape off the window and now I've got the door panel out of the way and I'm fixing to pull this vapor barrier off. On most vehicles nowadays, I prefer to work from the bottom up as far as uh, the loose edges. But that one, that one seems to be stuck pretty good. Let me see what's going to be my best angle of attack here. get to this screw, this screw, and this screw, and I can get to this screw with no problem, and that one's going to be a little problem, and that one's going to be a little problem, so i got to pull it loose up here, and now all those problem areas are pretty much gone. reach in here and take this clip loose on the power window motor. And got to switch everything over to 10 millimeter. One right here. Things being a bit of a pain. Probably should have left that tape on that I had there earlier to hold the glass up, but I have a couple of different tools just for doing that. There's a wedge, and just slide it in there, and just slide it in there. And it's, it's rubberized, so it'll it'll hold the glass. And the other method is suction cups with cables. And now they're on there. Now I do need to run that window motor down, so I'm going to grab a couple things and do a little on old What I'm going to do is apply power and ground to the motor and move it down. And the reason for doing that is just a little thing. Um, I've got this all these connectors loose from the switch, and that that switch is not really a switch. It's a um, driver's door module. And if I turn the key on and it's all unplugged, it may just set codes and everything. And I'm just going to avoid that. Guess I'm going the wrong direction. That just broke loose, didn't it? And you know, I'm probably going to be quite upset with myself if I take this thing apart and there's nothing wrong with it. And it was some other crazy thing that made a noise. But it's broke loose from the door. Little hook up here, gonna take it loose. The other hook back here, gonna take it loose. And working through this hole, put this connector back through it.
what you have to rotate the bars and get them coming through. And let's see what's going on with this thing. Yep. Believe it or not, I heard those things pop when I was moving it up and down. Can you see that? See where that cable started popping? Once it pops enough, it'll wrap up in this um, plastic, and this plastic, and this plastic, and it'll tear it all up, and it'll pop and snarl and do all sorts of nonsense. So it's kind of interesting. Well, it's not interesting, but I'm very pleased that I heard it and had a pretty good idea what it was and caused no other further issues for myself. So that's a relief. I would, you always sweat it when you're going to take it apart saying, oh my God, am I taking this thing apart for no reason? Well, you just heard me say that a minute ago. So now that's going back there. Let's see, it looks like it's got the right kind of motor connector on it. It looks like it has the right kind of gap. It's gonna go in like this. No, it's going to go in like that. So, yeah, the difference is we've got studs with nuts on it down here instead of having bolts to go through. But we should be able to make that work. And they do something else flaky up here that I'm going to have to rectify. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Make sure everything else looks right. But if you, I don't know if you can see in here or not, but the back side of this connector is open. So what I got to do is I got to back fill, fill it with some dielectric grease so water won't get in there. If I had more time, I'd probably back fill it with RTV or silicone, but it would take too long for it to dry and I might wind up with a, a pathway to, to water or a pathway to water entering it very easily so I want to avoid that I'll put this grease in there don't you love the motorcraft grease I'm using on a Chevrolet product I'm gonna pack that in there and that'll stay fluid a little bit stay a gel and it'll work to keep the water out because it is silicone based now Got to go ahead and take this screw out. This nut out. Got to save it though. And where's the other one? The other one's right there. make sure these are loose well they're they're open that one's open at least and so is that one so I can make sure the glass will go in there all right now I got to work on getting that in there without getting anything full of dirt well this thing sure is a lot lighter duty looking isn't it <laughs> oh my lord I 
gun hooked on there. You know, trying to do this so y'all can see this stuff is a royal pain in the ass. It's hot, I don't have the fan on. I don't have the door open to keep the noise down and the aggravations and all that kind of stuff. And all that's fixed to change. straightened out before I tear something up. Got them separated now. I got that top hook in. I got to find this one, get it hooked in there. There, that one's hooked in. And that screw is started. We should be able to get this stud down here in. And get the nut on it. Hopefully we can reach in here and get this one on. It goes on with no problem. And then we can get this other one in. Make sure it's not too long. I know this is some of the just batshit crazy stuff that I do, but I always try to get the bolt heads to line back up. And you also got to make sure that you're on the correct side of this glass, because if you're on the wrong side of it, buddy, you got a problem. That's on there. Get 
and reach in here and plug the motor back up. All that looks good. Now, we've got to hook everything up long enough to run that motor all the way up. Go, go a different direction this time because it was too much of a pain to do it the other way. We've got to take these gloves off right now and get cooled down a little bit. Pull this one back through here. And we shouldn't have to move that again. I want to make sure that's going the right direction. In theory, we should be able to raise that up to here and, and stick it back on. Exactly, because it's a lot of hanging pieces. I think. Now, raise that window up. And then I got to do a quick check and make sure it's all in the right spots. like it's good there. And it looks good there. What I'm going to do is snug them up just a hair. suction cups in the wedge out. And then run this bad boy up and down a few times to see what it does. Well, all that seems fine. So I'm going to turn the key back off and unhook all this again so I can get all the panels laid in straight or the um, not the panels but the vapor bearing and now we can start putting all this vapor panel back in place probably notice that this stuff doesn't stick back as well as it was stuck. So I got to do my best to get it in there as well as I can. Reinforce it with some duct tape. I've got a couple of issues that have arisen. Number one is this is coming loose, and I don't like that because it's supposed to be snapped on, stapled on there pretty well. And once that breaks, I'm probably screwed. So how do I get that back on there?
It looks like gravity's going to have to hold it in place, so I got to be extra careful when I stick it in there. Hooks have to go in and line up at the same time. And I was wrong about that piece of tape. And uh, I can't have tape sticking out every damn where. It'd be crazy. Well, I'm really disappointed in how this top edge is working out. That piece isn't stapled into the material anymore. And it feels like it's bowling up instead of laying down. Let me go look at the other board and see what it looks like. I guess the last thing I wanted to show is that... Um, let's keep the ball there. These things here are kind of impossible to get out. They seem that way because the latching they do. Let's see if it will light it and in. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to put that on there because it's it is kind of a, a little bit of a pain to get in and out. I don't know why, but it, they are. What I will do instead is I will loop that slide the wire out and then hopefully you can see how this goes back in there and it only goes one direction I think yeah so that's how it goes in there and then these two levers release it, it hooks on the end so it will go in like that and snap in when I'm ready But, I've got to figure out something better for this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. It's got to be quite down in the dumps. Down in the dumps, you know.
And if you look close at that, you can see there's a hook on this end that's more defined and there's a little push tabs on this end and that's the end with the lock on it. So taking it out by the back is the right way to do it. So, like it or not, it's back together. Not real, like I said, I'm not real thrilled about that edge. Of course, I'm not thrilled about these edges flipping loose either. I know it's been 20 years, or 20, what is it, 20? Yeah, it's 20 years old now. But you would think that some things could be done a little bit better and they would last a lifetime. But it is what it is. Talk to you later. Bye.